is Oracle. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies. Spring is in the air, and if you're seeing more pollen than usual, it's because poison ivy is spreading spores across Gotham. It's gotten bad enough that Swamp Thing is stepping in. Hello, heroes and villains. Welcome to Multiverse. The spring seasonal has been added to the test server. Uh, normally, when something gets added to the test server, about two weeks later, it gets added to the live server. So if all goes well, in about two weeks, we should have the spring seasonal on the live server. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see for that. Although you will see some people that already have some of the spring seasonal rewards. Uh, basically, on some servers, the spring seasonal was activated, let's say by accident. So there are some people who were able to get at least some of the rewards already. If I was to take a guess, I would say that somebody made a boo-boo. Instead of activating the test server, someone activated the European servers. So let us take a quick look at the spring seasonal vendor, and then we'll take a look at the rewards. So normally I do this a bit later, but where or where can you get the rewards? Obviously you can get them from the spring seasonal vendor. And you have the rewards from 2024, we'll take a look at those in just a second. But also, if you missed out on some of the previous rewards, don't worry, you can get all the rewards from the previous spring seasonal as well. And it goes all the way back to the rewards from 2011. So in 2024, we'll get uh, some new materials. So here you can see a botanical sequin combo pack, a reticent butterfly material, uh, something that has been highly, highly requested for a long, long time, some elf ears. We'll get it as accessories or as a headpiece. Uh, there's a moth mask, some fairy wings, some mushroom pet, and various base items. Also, you will get some rewards added to the Dr. Fate vendor. So if you take a look at the Dr. Fate vendor, you should see the enhanced Firefly Aura and the Monarch Butterfly Aura. So here you can see the mushroom pet that we can get from the vendor. Uh, sometimes I wonder who the devs uh, are making this game for. Oh well. But I'm sure some people will find this little guy cute in their lair. So we can see there's uh, some sort of tree we can get. Uh, this is a nice uh, base item. It'll give you some platforms to be able to add to your lair. Ideally, if we could get some platforms like that with other stuff than trees, that would be nice. And if we could get some maybe at, the, at this height, so people could almost recreate a second floor in some of their lairs if they want to. Uh, maybe someday. Like here we have this little uh, floating waterfall here. There's even also some stairs that you can actually use. Our old friend is getting a bit crazy. So there's a little pond here. There's a couple of doorways. There's one uh, without the foliage. And there's one with the foliage. And this pretty much covers the base items we have. Ah, that is so cute. So here you can see the moth mask. You can apply some colors to the mask, but there's already some colors built in. Uh, let's put it in color. Uh, let's put the mask white. You can see there's already some colors and textures built into the mask. For the fairy wings, obviously you can change the colors of the wings if you want to. It does seem to support three colors. And of course, you can also apply a material to the wings. Which brings us to the materials, I guess. So let us take a look at the iridescent butterfly material. So here we can see what the material looks like. I have to admit that uh, I kind of like it. It's a it's a funky material, but it's a nice looking one, I think. Now here I've equipped a style that supports the uh, three colors, but two of the colors are pretty darn close. And let us take a look at the Botanical Sequine Chroma 1. And it would seem that our mushroom friend uh, pretty much follows us everywhere in our lair. Uh, maybe I really should use a chess piece that uses the three colors. So you can see what the material looks like. Uh, so Botanical Sequine Chroma 2. That's a funky material. I'm trying to think uh, which character could use a red, yellow, and green material. The only one that comes to mind is Robin, and uh, I'm not sure I would use this with Robin. And Botanical Sequin Chroma 3. And as you can see, there is some built-in textures uh, within the colors. While we're here, we might as well take a look at the Enhanced uh, Firefly Aura. 
Ah, that is so cute. You have the little fireflies uh, flying around you. And let's take a look at the Monarch Butterfly Aura. Ah, you have some happy little butterflies uh, around your character. And there are three new feats that you can get this year. So it's the Ancient Land. Collect eight base items from the 2024 Springtime Seasonal Event Vendor. Either the Giving Tree for the heroes or the Misgiving Tree for the villains. There is the Earner Wings. Collect the Moth Mask and the Fairy Wings from the 2024 Spring Seasonal Event Vendors. Again, the same two vendors. And the Multicolor Monarch. Collect the Iridescent Butterfly Material or open the Botanical Sequin Chromo Pack. Again, from the same 2024 Springtime Seasonal Vendor. So if all you care about is the feeds, you don't have to get all the materials. You just have to get one or the other. So as soon as you consume the Iridescent Butterfly Material, or as soon as you open the Botanical Sequin Chromo Pack, you will get a 25 point feat. And once you consume the Moth Mask and the Fairy Wings, then you get the second feat. And for the last feat, once you consume 8 base items, you do get the feat. And here you can see what it looks like on the female character. Not so different. Although obviously, depending on the hairstyle you use, it might cover the ears a bit. Oh well. So there we go guys. So the spring seasonal has been added to the test server. So if you were asking when or oh when we will get the spring seasonal, if all goes well, in about two weeks, we should have it on the live server. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see for that.